scientists tell us that centuries ago, there were many people living here in the desert of the American Southwest. These men are archaeologists, scientists who search for and study the remains of ancient civilizations. How do archaeologists know that ancient people lived here? How do they learn about the ways of life of ancient people? Archaeologists must search for clues, as detectives do. They must know the kinds of places where ancient people may have lived. The first clues they find are usually on the surface of the ground. These rows of stones are a clue. They could only have been laid out in such straight lines by human beings. And here's another clue, a piece of pottery The pottery and the straight lines of stones are clues that people may once have lived here. If ancient people did live here, there may be more clues buried in the ground. So the archaeologists decide to dig here. But before they dig into the ground, they photograph it to keep a record of the way it looked. Then they make an exact map showing the different heights of the ground and even the location of every stone. Now they mark off the area where they will dig. Whenever they find something, it will be placed on the deeper, will be placed on lower strips. The objects they hope to find are called artifacts. Any object made or used by man is called an artifact. Most artifacts found are hard, made of clay, bone, metal, or of stone like this ancient axe head. Stone arrowhead. Each artifact is numbered. The number of the artifact and its original position in the trench is recorded in his notebook. The artifact is then put in its proper place on the paper. Pattern. The archaeologist makes a cast of it. This liquid will harden to form a plaster cast of the pattern. When completed, the cast shows a pattern of woven material, perhaps a basket. As the careful digging continues, the side of this trench reveals several different layers. The dark stripes are charcoal, probably the remains of old cooking fires. The archaeologists, as their charcoal and broken pottery mixed into the ground, the ground level became higher and higher. Materials found in this top layer were probably left by the last people to live here. In the bottom layer is an artifact that may have been left by the first people who lived here. It's a stone spearhead. This is the middle layer. These are tiny burnt ears of corn. Corn like this must be planted and cared for. So the archaeologists decide that the people who grew it must have been farmers. 
All the artifacts from each layer in the trench have been placed as they were found on each layer of paper. The lowest layer contains animal bones and a spearhead, so the earliest people here were probably hunters. Hunters must travel. They have no time to farm or to make pottery. But here in the top layer are pieces of carefully made pottery, as well as ears of corn. These later people must have been farmers. These are planting sticks from both the middle and the top layers. Archaeologists believe they were used to make holes in the ground to plant seeds. These thick pieces of burnt wood might have been part of a house. Because the artifacts in each layer are different, the archaeologist knows that the people here lived in different ways at different times about the life of these ancient people. Here they have uncovered a hard, flat area. The archaeologists believe this is the floor of an entire house, and the hole in the center was the fireplace. Also in the floor is a storage pit lined with stones. Inside the pit are several parts of a basket. These people were good weavers. The stitches are tight and close together. Even their woven sandals were well made. No one knows what these people called themselves, but archaeologists call them the basket makers. The archaeologists know that some Indians today grind corn on stones like this. So they believe the basket makers may have used this stone for grinding their corn. The archaeologists have found something else important, beads made of seashells. But these desert people lived hundreds of miles from the ocean. Perhaps they got these beads in trade from other people living closer to the sea. When the digging is completed, the archaeologists take the materials to their laboratory. In the laboratory, scientists examine the artifacts, compare them with artifacts from other places, and test them to find their age. To find the age of this piece of burnt wood from the trench, it is first cut and polished. Scientists can find when the tree was cut by studying the rings in the wood. He finds that this tree was cut down about 1,300 years ago. This gives the archaeologist a clue to the time at which the basket makers lived. Scientists have another way to find the age of things. They examine the artifacts to find some plant or animal remains. In cleaning dried mud from this piece of pottery, the archaeologist finds some plant materials. These are dried seeds. Seeds, like all living things, are slightly radioactive. After a plant or animal dies, it slowly loses its radioactivity. Scientists measure the amount of radioactivity remaining in the seeds to find how old they are. This method is called carbon-14 dating. A carbon-14 test of the seeds from the house shows them also to be 1,300 years old. Here is the corn taken from the trench's middle layer. The carbon-14 test shows that it is 300 years older than the corn from the top layer. 
Finally, after studying many clues, thousands of artifacts, and many laboratory reports, the archaeologists can show us how the basket makers may have lived. And with models like this, they can show us the ways of life of these ancient people. Artifacts left by the first people show that they were probably hunters. Later, people here learned to plant and cultivate corn. They also learned to make baskets and crude clay pots to store food. The last people to live here were farmers who probably stayed here all year round. They learned to make better pottery and they built houses. Archaeologists learn about the past by collecting artifacts. From tree ring patterns and radioactive carbon-14 tests, they can find the ages of artifacts. By studying bits of tools and clothing, pottery and weapons, they can piece together a picture of the way ancient people lived. Using these same methods, Archaeologists throughout the world have been able to reconstruct the story of many ancient civilizations. Civilizations that...